Hey guys, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Great, awesome. When I was a kid, I used to watch vlogs because back then family vlogs was the thing that all the cool kids watched. I don't think that's true, but I watched them because I had no friends and a lot of free time. Not much has changed. Over the years, YouTube has gone through phases on what is popular. It's like a moody emo teenager going through puberty. We had the family vlog phase, the gaming phase, the cursed prankster phase. Uh, don't remind me of those days. The commentary phase, and I believe we are now in the fake phase. We got fake drama, fake skits, fake shows. Everything is fake and scripted now, which I don't know if it's a good thing, but that's not important. Today I want to focus on the vlogging phase, because this is the stage that I believe is responsible for destroying many of the families involved. <laughs> The start of vlogging is older than YouTube itself, some weird artist guy did it back in the 1980s. He's probably just as insane as me. But on YouTube, it became a growing genre since the very beginning, with a lot of the stars of the community appearing around 2009, including Shay Tarts, which some say was the first vlogger of YouTube. He was the main one at the time. Filming a video, quiet. Jeez. Over the next few years, dozens of daily vlogging channels began to pop up and rise in the ranks. We have BF vs GF, which was my favorite as a kid. Wawa runs, who doesn't love those? CTF XC, which holds the record for most consecutive vlogs, and countless others, but these were the three main popular channels at the time, and I think they were the pioneers of the genre. They rode those rocks for miles. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop referencing SpongeBob. I'm too old for this. At the start, vlogging seemed to be a pretty amazing thing. You had these people who were getting paid just to live their life and travel and do cool things and at the same time the viewer got videos every single day from these people that over time they grew to know so well they were basically family to them it was like a reality show without all the fake drama and copious amounts of lip filler it was great it was truly a unique experience at the time and it drew a lot of people into it it became a dream job for many and this new popular trend on youtube seemed to last for many many years but like any honeymoon the excitement of this new genre eventually came to an end. Because vlogging was daily and focused on the life of one family or one couple, it's a bit different now. Today's vlogging is usually highly edited and it involves a dozen different people doing planned skits, but back then vlogging was a lot more intimate. You were seeing the same person every day no matter what. If they were sick, you saw them sick. If they were fighting, you witnessed them fighting. You saw the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some of these vloggers only like to show the positives in their lives, like the Shay Tarts and CTFXC, but even though they tried to hide it, you still got a vibe when something was wrong. It was like seeing a friend sad. They say, I'm fine, but you know deep down, Patricia is not fine. She just ate two pizzas in a car by herself at 1 a.m., and that was just the first course. Go get some help, Patricia. And then you had vloggers like BF vs GF that showed its viewers everything. Completely wrong. Whoa. Don't do a Gordon Ramsay reference, I swear to God. Different vloggers had different ways of showing the rocky parts of their lives, but as a viewer, you got the idea when their relationships were struggling. After years of doing these vlogs, you started seeing more fights, you saw them being more separated, you saw them genuinely angry at each other. It seemed as years passed, there was an overall trend of relationships getting worse, and I believe the main cause of this was the vlogging. If you think about what these families were doing, it's a lot. They were filming themselves every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, mostly without a break. For more than seven years, they were working and they were on camera, and on top of that, they also had to edit every single one of their videos. So while recording Tuesday's vlog all day, they were also simultaneously editing Monday's vlog the same day. It was a never-ending cycle of work, and as someone who pumps out four videos a month, if I'm lucky and not wanting to die that month, I can assure you it's a a lot of work. And on top of that, they also had to be entertaining at all times. They had to go to places nonstop and do new things or the viewers would get bored and they would lose their job. When you go on vacation to Hawaii, you want to relax and get away, right? But as a vlogger, Hawaii is one of the best places to vlog and show other viewers what you're doing. You want to go for a hike in the woods? Guess what? That would be great footage for a vlog. What if you see a bear or something? Oh, koala bear. You want to go on an ice cream date? I know I want to with the right opinion. That would be a cute vlog. The point is, everything these people did was inevitably for 
the walk. Every vacation, every adventure, every date, everything. Which may not seem that bad, but they did this every single day for years. I kind of compare it to celebrities freaking out over paparazzi. It's not that extreme, but these vloggers basically had millions of people following them around wherever they go daily, judging everything they do in the comments and on social media. And after years and years of this, the stress eventually started to chip away at their relationships until it was too late. The ends of a lot of these vlogs was almost like a domino effect going one by one. The first breakup was with CTFXC. That does not get easier to say, no matter how many times I say it. After 1,803 days of vlogging nonstop, a video was uploaded, we need to talk. And uh, it's just been getting worse and worse and we've just been becoming more and more unhappy and stressed out, like both of us. Uh, so we both decided that it was unfair for both of us to keep moving this direction if we're both unhappy and stressed. Um, so we decided that we will be separating. A lot of people said this was the death of the channel and it was the last video they ever watched. I'd also like to note that Charles continues uploading daily to his channel, continuing his world record. You just got a divorce. Take a break. His wife continued vlogging on her own separate channel, but since then she has vanished from YouTube for over two years now. The next breakup happened between BF vs GF a bit later. I don't even know how to start this. Um, this is probably going to be the hardest video that we've ever had to make on YouTube right now. In their breakup video, they actually made it a point to express the toxicity that vlogging has done to their relationships. And they also send a warning to other family vloggers that daily vlogging is not a healthy thing for anyone. They're warning you guys, don't do it. Both of them are doing very well today. They both have separate channels. They seem to be doing great. So that's a bright side, I guess. The most recent and shocking end to a vlogging family happened with the Shaytards. And this timing was kind of ironic. They were already planning a set date to take a year off YouTube to be a normal family again and escape the toxic vlogging cycle but right before this date the father Shay Carl was caught in a scandal where he was exposed for sending explicit messages to other women online he uploaded a video I'm sorry <sighs> okay I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and I have really lacked the courage he mentions his alcoholism and apologizes to everyone he affected later his wife Colette also uploaded a video letting a dream die Man, it has been a crazy year for me. I've tried to make this video so many different times. You know, I keep second guessing myself, I doubt myself, and I finally just feel like, you know what? I'm just going to let go of all the things that I'm trying to control and just accept what is and talk to you guys. They took the year off a bit earlier than planned. I don't blame them. <laughs> and they vanished from the vlogging world, leaving people wondering what was going to happen. And this is the point on YouTube where the family vlogging phase on YouTube truly died for me. Three of the original pioneers all had fallen down the same hole. Now I just want to say, I don't believe vlogging directly broke these families up. I don't think there's ever one reason why people break up. Unless you cheat on me, then get away. <laughs> I already have too many trust issues. I don't need that. But vlogging added this new stress to their lives and indirectly, I think it's a reason for all the breakups in the community. It's weird because YouTube is like its own long-term study. We are for the first time seeing the effects of these videos on people and it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool for them, but as an outside view, it's, it's pretty fascinating. There are a few family vloggers that have made it through all of this. It's Judy's life has been daily vlogging for nine years with her family and they seem to be doing great. But what I've seen from their family, they have a very good relationship. They take breaks when they fight. They work things out. They separate from each other. They seem to be doing great. So I think what it comes down to is if you have a good relationship, daily vlogging won't break it up. But if your relationship is already getting rocky, then daily vlogging is just this self-sabotaging toxic thing to be doing. There's also family vloggers I didn't mention that have also gone through this type of rough spots. We have Colin and Katie who's been dealing with addiction recently and it's been hurting their family. We also have Sam and Nia, but they're just crazy so I didn't really add them to my thought process. I have a full video on them. They're wild, faking babies, cheating on each other. They're like their own category of family vloggers. I didn't include them. From the channels I've looked at, there's been a few positive outcomes, but an overwhelming negative effect that vlogging has created. I also want to add the Shaytars returned after a year and now they only occasionally vlog, which I think is very beneficial. They're back together and they seem happy now and they don't daily vlog. Happy endings. Lesson of the day, don't daily vlog. <laughs>